What's up everybody? My name is Justin. Welcome to the channel. It's quarantine time. I found that in quarantine, I still like to read and I have a book that is coming today. So I took it upon myself. You see this over here? That is where I want a chair. But my wife said she wanted a chair in our room first. So I was like, okay, let's get Let's get a chair for the room. I still haven't found my leather chair. Like I really want this, I want this really comfortable, just like high armrest chair that I can chill in, read my book, that I can go to every single time I want to read and I can just, I can just read. So what I'm going to do today before we get started, I'm going to go move that chair in here. She doesn't know what I'm doing. So and then I'm going to get started on today's tutorial, which is are using Lightroom presets cheating? So let's roll that intro. I'll be right back. I got it. I got the chair. This is great. The perfect chair. This is not the perfect chair at all. But. It's in Excuse here. Excuse me? Look, I think this is, this is gonna work. totally jacked my reading chair. I'm gonna go get my book that came in. I'm gonna read. Oh. All right, as you can tell, I have a chair in here. It's not gonna stay, I'll tell you that. I don't like that chair at all. It's not comfortable. All right, so I wanna be real quick, just flat out. I do not personally think that using Lightroom presets are cheating at all. And I kind of want to go in a little bit deeper on some of the presets that I've used and some of the presets that I have available for sale. I'll drop a link in the comments below. But here's the deal. Like presets, all they are is a unique, um, what do we call this? A unique style. Like my presets are my style. These are the presets that I've used on big shoots, on big agency shoots. I've used these on portraits. I've used these on vacations. I've used these presets all over. And these are ones that I found to be my style. I believe that when you use presets, you should at least take the preset and figure out what it is that the person did, how they got that style. What did they touch the HSL? Did they really go heavy texture? Did they really bump up the clarity? Did they mess with any dehaze? Like, like what kind of things did they mess with the tonal curve? And what's cool is like when you're, you, whenever you start to figure those things out, that's whenever you get to take on your style. That's whenever you get to mold what I've done and what I've created into your own style. And I've bought other presets and I've downloaded other presets and all I've been able to do from those is figure out, okay, I, I see what they did here to get this shot. I saw what they did here. And I remember the first time I downloaded presets, I was like, cool, this is just one click and you're done. But then there were certain photos, like the presets that I download, not, the thing is like the same preset that's used on one photo can't be used on another. So I'll show you like for this preset, if you go with like a, um, a moody dark here, I'll, I'll slap that on this photo real quick. This, it works, it's okay. It's, it's not the greatest, but it's okay. Versus this one. This has Moody Bright on it, which is a preset that's available in my 2020 preset pack. And it looks good, but the Moody Dark, I don't think it looks that good. All the shadows are really dark. The blacks are kind of crushed. Uh, it looks kind of muted versus Moody Bright. It brings up the shadows and it really makes it light and airy. So the same preset that you can apply on one photo doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be applied on another photo. However, if you get good enough and you start to practice you'll be able to take those little those little sliders and you'll get to see what's changed between the you know default treatment that uh, Lightroom has on there versus the preset you'll get to see those sliders change and see how they interact with one another so as you as you go down this journey I just really encourage you to not only check out presets but to go get other presets it's what expands your it's what expands your style it's what expands your knowledge and and by getting other people's presets you're getting you're 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 not only getting a little piece of their their artistic style but you're getting a little piece of their heart whenever they whenever you import that like all this some of these presets I've used for an entire year like all of 2019 I used one of these presets 
I, I've at least used one of them on almost every single shoot. Sometimes I'll go apply a preset and I'm like, ah, that doesn't really work. But what if I can enhance the brightness? Like this photo over here, what if I'm like, you know, I kind of dig this, but what if we want to, you know, bring the highlights up just a little bit, bring down the contrast, bring up the shadows, enhance the blacks. Like now we're starting to turn this photo into something cool, but this all started with the moody dark. And then now with a few slider changes, you can take this to another one. And I only bring this up. I, I found that more people don't use presets or they don't go purchase presets or they don't go download them. They don't seek them out because they feel like that's cheating. And I promise you it's not cheating as so, as so long that you want to figure out what it is about those things that made it that style. So you can inevitably start to take on those things and create your own. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick like tutorial Tuesday. I just felt like this is something that's on my chest and on my heart to share with you is not every preset that you get is going to fit for every single photo. You can have hundreds of presets if you want and you're still might be missing that one little element. Maybe you need to add some texture. Maybe you need to add some blueness or some darkness to the sky and maybe add a bottom gradient. But having that style to start with is actually a really good place to start. And no, using a preset is not cheating. So that's my own personal opinion. Drop a comment below if you agree or disagree with me. Please smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. So I appreciate it. Later. Wait a minute. I gotta go get my book. It's actually a really good book. I've been waiting for this book to come in. So hold on. That's it. That's the book I'm reading. So I've heard really good things about this book. If you've ever read this book, please let me know in the comments below. So my buddy, Jason, he highly recommended this. He's the owner of Bow Hunter Box Club. He highly recommended this book. He and I read um, Think It Grow Rich. Now, <clears throat> these books, they come at a perfect time. Right now we're going through, in the history of the world right now, we're going through this uh, COVID-19 mess and there's a lot of principles in here. There's a lot of teachings and he just kept reading and he kept like dropping nuggets. I was like, dude, I need to get that book. So he sent me a leftover gift card that he had for Barnes and Noble because I could not get it on Amazon. And uh, I'm gonna read. Oh, before I go, thank you so much for watching this. Please smash that like button, hit the subscribe, ding that bell, get notified on the next one. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go read. I can't take that chair anymore. I don't like it. Uh, let's get out of here. Gotta move this.